we're asked to convert the Cartesian coordinates negative four comma negative four to polar coordinates in the form r comma theta, where r is greater than zero and theta is in the interval from zero to two pi radians, closed on zero, open on two pi. Let's first plot the point on the coordinate plane. From the origin, we move left four units and then down four units. This is the point we want to write using polar coordinates using the given conditions. R is the distance from the pole to the point, and therefore the length of this segment here is R. And then theta is the angle starting along the positive x-axis, rotating to the point, which would be this angle here, the angle from zero to two pi radians. To help us determine R and theta, let's now sketch the reference triangle in the third quadrant, where R would be the hypotenuse of the reference triangle. So this would be one leg, and this would be the other. Because x is negative four, we label this leg negative four. Because y is also negative four, we label this leg negative four. Using the right triangle in the Pythagorean theorem, r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then using the reference triangle, tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. But we need to be careful when determining the angle theta though because the output or range of arctangent is the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So the arctangent function value we get from the calculator is not going to give us the angle we want in the third quadrant, but it will give us the reference angle that we can use to determine the angle we want in the third quadrant. Let's begin by determining r, where again r is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, or in our case, r is equal to the square root of the square of negative four plus the square of negative four. Simplifying, we have the square root of 16 plus 16. 16 plus 16 is equal to 32. r is equal to the square root of 32 which we'll simplify because 32 does contain the perfect square factor of 16. 32 is equal to 16 times two, and therefore the square root of 32 is equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of two. The square root of 16 is equal to four. R simplifies to four square root two. And now let's determine the angle theta. Theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x, which in our case is negative four divided by negative four. Simplifying, we have arctangent of one. And we should be able to recognize an angle that has a tangent function value of one. This should remind us of a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, where tangent 45 degrees, or pi over four radians, is equal to one. So if we recognize that, we know the calculator is going to give us pi over four radians. But let's assume we don't recognize this and also show the calculator. But the calculator is only going to give us a decimal approximation. But right away you might recognize that pi over four radians is in the first quadrant and therefore this is not the angle we are looking for in the third quadrant. But let's first find theta on the T84. We need to verify we are in radian mode. Press mode, radian is highlighted. Go back to the home screen press second, tangent, one, close parenthesis, and enter. Because we have a nine in the fifth decimal place, we round up to 0 0.7854 radians. So the angle given by the calculator is this angle here in the first quadrant in the opposite direction. But remember, tangent is positive in the first and third quadrants, and therefore these two angles have the same reference angle. So the reference angle for the angle theta we are looking for is pi over four radians, or approximately 0 0.7854 radians, which means to find the angle theta in the given interval, we need to add pi radians to pi over four radians, or to the approximation. So the exact angle theta would be pi over four plus pi, or five fourths pi radians, or the decimal approximation, going back to the calculator and adding pi, 
would be approximately 3.9270 radians. So the exact polar coordinates that satisfy the given conditions for the Cartesian coordinates negative four comma negative four would be four square root two comma five fourths pi radians. But our Hormic system will also accept four square root two comma 3.9270 radians. I hope you found this helpful.